From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Hannah Scholl. And it certainly is feeling like spring. Absolutely gorgeous weather on tap for today. Not only that, but we did have some severe weather yesterday, which of course is another marker of spring here in Oklahoma. This could be a painting. It is a gorgeous picture of some of the severe storms that we had yesterday. This from Jones. Samantha sent this in and wow, what an absolutely stunning picture. The structure of the cloud, the rain shaft underneath, just absolutely beautiful there and what that storm produced was some hail. So golf balls, quarters, um, the, those were all plentiful. We also saw marble, pea-sized hail. Sometimes the hail was so plentiful that it just covered the ground and it looked like it had snowed. This from Elk City about golf ball-sized hail there. And we even had some hail drifts in Kingfisher where hail would pile up. That was the scene in Okarchi and El Reno as well. So a lot, a lot of hail came down from these storms yesterday and it even looks like snow this shot from Jim Gardner he was above uh, the storms yesterday and that is from El Reno looks like a fresh dusting of snow and it is here almost the middle of April but some people did get some really good moisture and that hail pack on the ground it melts and that turns into some really good moisture for the earth as well some places got over an inch of rain an inch in Pawnee close to about an inch in El Reno as well and uh, half an inch in Elk City half an inch in Red Rock so some really good totals out of this only about two tenths or two uh, hundredths of an inch of rain in Oklahoma City though so big winners and then also big losers or some people didn't even see any rain yesterday at all. So today, this is our view. We are quiet for much of the country here in the Sooner State. Of course, nothing in the way of rain and also no cloud cover either. So we are going to be seeing some beautiful sunshine throughout the day today tomorrow and also for Thursday as well. But we are tracking a severe threat for your Friday. It's a 30% chance, so looking like it's going to be pretty low. But um, of course, we take any severe threat here very seriously. An area of low pressure swings to our north on Friday. And out ahead of that, the next few days, the winds are going to start to ramp up. So today we're pretty calm. Tomorrow they get a little stronger. And then by Thursday, we're even stronger. And that does ramp up the fire danger out in northwest Oklahoma. Um, so storm chances approach on Friday. That's going to be kind of all through central Oklahoma is where your storm zone is going to be, at least for now. But of course, that's still a few days away. Just know Friday, we do have that chance for severe weather. The weekend looks quiet. The area of low pressure that swings through drags a cold front across the state. That is also going to cool us down a little bit. So we're going to be in the low 70s and even upper 60s heading into Saturday. After that, we warm it back up. And then our next system, which is looking like it's going to be the middle of the week next week, it's going to be very similar to the system from yesterday in that it's just a short wave. So it's, it's a little kink in the jet stream. It's not its whole dip in the jet stream like what we usually see with the stronger storms, but that it could bring the chance for severe weather yet again. So two different chances on your nine day. For today, though, nothing to worry about. 57 degrees here, current temperature. There's our El Reno cam. We got a couple fair weather clouds out there, but lots of beautiful blue sky on our Lucky Star Sky Cam network. Winds are fairly light out of the south. We got temperatures in the 50s, 60s, um, all through the state. Most people now have made it into the 60s or even or the low 50s. And winds are fairly light. We've had stronger gusts out along I-40 far western Oklahoma, 25 mile per hour, the most recent gust, but really not too bad all throughout the state. The most light gusts now in southeast Oklahoma. There we have our temperatures for today. Absolutely beautiful weather on tap. 75 in Oklahoma City. We got a 77 in Clinton and Hobart. 80s in northwest Oklahoma. 84 in Guymon. So bordering on hot out there. And then overnight tonight, we're going to get into the middle and upper 40s. So your nine day forecasting in the 70s, the next few days, winds ramp up. Fire danger also ramps up, especially in western Oklahoma, heading into a Thursday. The severe of a threat for Friday as well. And then the weekend looks quiet and calm.